Hello everyone, today I will show you some uh, DPC tweaks that I tested that uh, modifying uh, Windows kernel, okay? I will have full explanation of every single D word in description because there are many different D words so I can't spend so much, so many minutes only to explain uh, the D word so for that reason I have everything in description, okay? Anyways, let's see the results. I did 10 trials in system in system idle before and after and also I tested a real time uh, application like a game in that case I chose Fortnite before and after on the same pattern five, 10 trials and uh, all uh, details about my hardware and tools that I used are in description okay are here basically okay and in the description I have the links Anyways, uh, as you see, I have changed the concept of uh, of Windows of spreadsheets because many people think that it's uh, really hard to, to understand my data. So I tried to change that to be more simple. Okay, as you see, I have had uh, the parts that we have possible DPC spike and obviously DPC spike. Also, as you see, I did only DPC. Uh, I have only the results about DPC because these results are only about DPC every single result it's not about GitHub service routine or ISR so I focus my results uh, in DPC okay and obviously because these tweaks are in Windows kernel driver so I have I tested Windows kernel driver on the okay. also uh, many people uh, perhaps they have uh, seen many DPC spikes in Nentos kernel, the Windows kernel driver, especially in latency monitor. And as you see in my in, uh, as you will see in my results, I saw the same uh, thing in Windows Performance Analyzer. Anyways, um, as, you, as I said, I did the trials. Okay, system before in idle mode. As you see, I had one DPC spike. Okay, confirmed DPC spike and a possible DPC spike. Uh, the reason I chose possible and confirm uh, DPC spike is because here we have a huge difference between the other results. But here the, the difference is smaller, so for that reason I I gave this name. Okay. Uh, what I want to focus is also the average. As you see, the duration of fragments in average is basically stable. The only bad thing is the duration of fragment maximum. Okay, so the spikes are maximum let's see now the system after results are very stable okay as you see we haven't any single uh, uh, DPC spike or possible DPC spike again the same uh, uh, environment in idle mode uh, everything closed everything was careful and as you see the results are those okay we, we must say that we eliminate our DPC spikes with this registry in system after, okay. And let's see now, uh, Fortnite. Again, the same pattern we had before uh, two DPC spikes, okay. Huge DPC spikes, especially in trial 8, okay. And after that, I had the possible DPC spike on the first trial, but the other trials was uh, stable, was on the same range, so... I can't say that we have a possible DPC spike or even a DPC spike, okay? So, you will ask me, should I run this, should I execute this uh, script? My opinion is, you should give a try to see if uh, you will eliminate the DPC spikes. I don't know if you can see the difference with latency monitor, I don't think so. You should uh, execute Windows Performance Recorder and Analyzer, okay? And also, don't expect something huge with this uh, tweak. Obviously, you won't get more FPS with this option. Okay, perhaps you will see some uh, uh, lower latency in DPC. Okay, and obviously, the most important for me in this video is a possible solution about DPC spikes. Okay, I had many DPC spikes, and with this registry, I eliminate all DPC spikes that can cause latency issues and uh, bad experience uh, during you play a game. So, I think you should give a try. And probably this video is a, a, is a troubleshoot video because 
we have a possible solution to eliminate uh, Windows kernel driver uh, DPC spikes, okay. Anyways, that was the video, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, as I said, I will have full explanation of this registry in the description. Let me know in the comments what else do you want to see from me. If you have any question or any objection about this video, if you want to disagree with me or agree with me, let me know in the comments and we will discuss. Thanks for watching guys, see you soon.